All right, well, Call of the Wild. You just gonna uh, sing us up, guys. Well, I heard you, man. Call of the Wild. I didn't, you know, I didn't really, I didn't really expect much. But, uh, you know, I enjoyed myself way more than I thought I would. Uh, the the CGI animals were were just a bit uncanny, and it bothered me at the beginning. But you know, the more the more the movie went on, I realized you know this is actually uh, really good. You know, a, a live dog wouldn't have been able to emote the way that they needed the characters, the dogs in the movie to. So, uh, you know, it, that 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 made sense. Harrison Ford did really well. Dan Stevens, Karen Gillan. Colin Woodhill did pretty good as well in, in their roles. Uh, the movie, the, the music uh, uh, was 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 orchestrated by John Powell, who also did the Hatter Trainer Dragon movies. Uh, he did he did exceptional. Uh, I thought I really thought the music stood out. I didn't think it was gonna. I thought it was gonna sound like a you know a typical Disney Channel type soundtrack, but it was it was really good. Uh, everybody's performances were great. The the main character fucking buck you know I, I really i really got attached to the dog um all in all i really didn't expect to have as much fun as i did with it uh i cried i ugly cried i almost teared up too in the movie this movie it's good and then like it's this one part like 20 minutes uh it's like a 20 minutes uh area where you just have like suspense because you know something's coming but you don't know when it's coming you know what i'm talking about and you're just like bro something's coming something's coming i don't know when <clears throat> And like watching the movie from like the very beginning and stuff, you're like, it was so good. You're like, oh wait, yeah, hey, because Harrison doesn't really show up to like the second half of the movie, really. Nah, not second half. Just like halfway through, I would say. Yeah, halfway through the uh, movie, but you're like, you know, you really mean? like I'm already enjoying this movie, you know. Yeah, overall, this movie is way better than I thought. So if you want to, this is a good movie to come in, watch some friends, family, some kids, and you just want to get a good. Feel, uh, 2000 feel movie. That's how I feel. Yeah, I mean, I, I recommend it. Yeah, I didn't like. I don't know if you have Disney Plus. You probably seen the movie Togo, and it's pretty much the same type of movie with a dog and with uh, sled with Will, William Defoe in it. So you could compare those two. I like both of them too, and both of them are owned by the same studio because Disney made uh, uh, Togo, and Disney owns uh, 20th Century Spotlight. So. They're making money regardless. I've never seen Togo. You should watch it on Disney Plus. It's pretty good. Check Togo out too, guys, if you want to watch dog movies. Because Disney released two sled dog movies in one year. Unless Togo came out at the end of last year. I think it came out this year. But yeah, overall, I recommend you to see this movie. Yeah, I give it three thumb, four thumbs up. Yeah, it's a pretty good movie. Yeah, call it a while. You can't see, but there's a fourth thumb somewhere. <laughs> Till next time, we back.